Oh, we are bad with Five. Do you come across any others? You rescue them too. Don't let those goddamn Peggy's take any more good folk. And I gotta upload my footage to YouTube because you know, you know, my footage sucks. Oh, thank you. I still rush you. Him. At least. GG fella. Easy pickings. Hope you don't get vertigo. That'll do it. Next tower's northeast. I'm getting vertigo. It's on a cliff overlooking the hotel. Over if you here? got a wingsuit, now's the time to use it. Just yeah, try not to crash. So... Alright. Okay, my arm is stuck in there. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, that did it. Bruh. Give me a second. Okay. Third jammer's on the truck. South. It's on the road south of you. You might have time to set up an ambush if you hurry. I'm just on cocky, but when you come in to stop me, I do. Hop on, hop on. Just a heads up, I don't have cameras in the building. Remember, once you're inside, 
Swap the tape and let the deprogramming run its course. Creepo, whatever you say. I'm not gonna ignore the fact that you're a creep, though. So, just lo and behold on that. Circumstances. You're familiar with the term classical conditioning, right, Deputy? 
It's when a conditioned stimulus, say a song, leads to a reflective response. In this case, to train, to kill, to sacrifice. This one got hurt to me. Same with the Mustang that I haven't. I wasn't told that they were gonna send a whole goonie at me. They sent the goonies at me, after me, not at me. Yeah, at me actually, but after me is the correct. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I don't. I did not want to message you guys. I will get out of this country. Oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. hell nah. They poisoned that too. Did you know it takes ten days? Stab him. What are you doing? Dude, you got the knife. Yeah. Deputy. You take away yeah. a man's basic D -D -D. needs and he will revert you to got his the primordial knife. instincts in just 10 days. Respectfully stab his neck. That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. Bro. 82nd Airborne, all Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Dude. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was, it was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about no. Close your eyes. Cover your dip. ears. Cover your ears. It was about bringing me here. Dip. Cover your ears, Dip. We have their purpose. Dip. You'll understand that soon enough. Dip didn't cover his ears. Dip. What the hell, Dip? Dip. Dip. Are you serious, Dip? Dip. I mean, I'm gonna still be alive, but still. Seriously, Dip? Why didn't you close your ears? Oh my God, dude. Get up. Call the herd. Excellent. Know your purpose! Man, I was new. Good. Call the herd. Whoa. You're no hero! I'm a war hero, buddy. Well, I'm not, but I'm, I'm a sheriff. I'm not a sheriff, but I'm, I'm a policeman. War hero, buddy. No, I am a war hero. Let's just put it right there. Like that. This is a war right here, basically. I got go. Kind of in your ride, Nerdy. Kind of in your ride, Nerdy. Make your sacrifice! Hey, you're going to try to get the ride, Nerdy. 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 Well done. Yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. yes. Sacrifice the weak.
Huh? The graphics are really good on here. I wonder what it's gonna be like on the six one. And Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm gonna get you out of here. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you, Dad. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, only you. Only you. But why didn't you hey, slice his throat? What about me? What about me? You aren't strong enough. You have to get out of here before it starts again. What starts? His lunatic delusion thing that I get caught in. Okay, thank you, man. He's a good man. I don't know why he didn't stab his throat, though. You had the opportunity to, to, to kill him. Like, why didn't you... Like, dude. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? Huh? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. He can't ever go back. Do you understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on that truck. It's almost done. My stuff, thank you. What is it? I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. Oh. Oh. Okay, you better get back to work, dude. I run. I... No, 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 not yet. Not yet. No, I get. Bro. Oh, I'm falling no. asleep. Oh no. No. I'm falling no. Asleep. Sorry. I'm getting it. Oh. I just got punched. Dude. I wasn't expecting that. Dude, oh no. Oh. Oh yes. I'm just randomly in the forest. I'm surprised a pack of wolves haven't surrounded me yet. Oh, damn. Deputy, if you copy, Zeli. I don't know where you've gone and disappeared to, but we really kicked the hornet's nest. I know you're probably out there trying to get your friend Pratt back, but us white tails could still use a hand. Anyways, you know where to find us. Talk soon. Oh. Hey, Jeff. Not sure where you've been, but you should head on over to the crossroads where the Grill Streak used to be. They've got something up on the screen there you've got to see. Well. <laughs> I knew it was going to be the end. It was going to be the end right there. I knew it. Hey, it's okay, man. I'm glad you shoot come him. Come on in. You're not interrupting anything. I know. Wasn't sure you'd come back. But I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer oh, here ran security up at the chalet. This? Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. No, no, shut up, shut up. I got this. I got this, boy. All right, I got this. calm down. Head up to the chalet, kill all the chosen, wire the place with the pain, explosives, the pain, and burn it to the ground. All right. Electric him. Electric. Shit. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. I think it's bad. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. What I just tell you, dude. Make it stop. God. I need some help. They were getting a little bit too crazy. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, whoa, 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 what can I say? They, they, they like, they were getting crazy, man. Like, they, they were, like, they were getting too rowdy. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed the episode, part or episode, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm trying to go with this, but, yeah, like and subscribe.